So with Nora, it's completely different to what we're used to with sort of carpet tile and LVT. I mean, even though it is a resilient, so it's not a textile, mm -hmm. it's obviously along the lines of using a resilient with LVT, but it's a completely different format and made from a completely different material. So it's really, really resilient. That's And that's one of the reasons why people use rubber. Yeah. So a lot of it goes into sort of healthcare market, um, things like medical centres, hospitals, clinics, the places that you would associate healthcare with, so dentists even, those sort of places, sort of will stand up to um, things being spilled on it, so chemical spills, things like that, and it's one of the key benefits for using rubber in any installation is it is super, super, super easy to maintain, it's really easy to clean. You don't need any special sort of cleaning and maintenance around it. Um, and if you do get spills or stains or marks on it, because the product is solid all the way through, so you can see with that one, the colour isn't just a surface layer, it's the same all the way through. Yeah. So if you were to get a mark or a stain or a scuff on something, you literally just rub the surface and the surface is the same as the product all the way through. So it literally will just come off the surface. So... The, the sort of lifespan of it is absolutely huge. Yeah, it's thick, that isn't it? Yeah. Another huge area where we use this as well, which may or may not come up for you, is in is in sort of transport hubs. So we use it in a lot of rail railway stations. It gets used on trains. We use it in lots and lots of airports as well. So another um, really great feature of it as well is its durability. So it's fantastic for areas where you're getting lots and lots of footfall over the same space all of the time so airports are a huge sort of indicator of that and obviously you've got a lot of people a lot of foot traffic all going literally in the same direction all of the time so you need a flooring that's incredibly durable because obviously over time you don't want that to start looking weird and not fit for purpose and obviously it's yeah. a lot of money to start replacing that so well what happens is as well if you get somebody who maybe drops something on it or it gets scuffed or yeah. it doesn't you wouldn't get sort of a, a white mark showing through or anything like that because the color and the pigment obviously goes all the way through the product as well the main things really are sort of the life cycle the durability and it's really really easy to maintain so cleaning and maintenance is really easy once it's on site as well another really good point about rubber as well is that because of its consistency um obviously it doesn't feel like it here it does feel quite hard but compared to other flooring so compared to say um, a solid wood floor or an LVT it's really good ergonomically so what that means is if you've got somebody like um, a surgeon or nurses or people typically in medical settings but also people maybe who work at airports and things like that in security that are standing and walking on it all day it's it's good for their ergonomics so it's actually good for their health and well-being as well because it's easier on their sort of knees and back as well it's actually proven to be better for that as well so that's another added benefit for people who work in that yeah. environment so is it kind of bouncy when you walk on it or not like proper bouncy yeah bouncy? it's not bouncy but what it does is it absorbs the sort of like shock. the shock from yeah. it from the footfall so rather than it just being a completely hard surface that you're walking on it it's helps the ergonomics a little bit by obviously being a slightly softer surface yeah. to walk on but it's not obviously it's not soft to the feel like a carpet would be so they don't just come on circles, they come on like all whatever. Yeah, like so items. I literally just brought you the Nora Mint to, collection to look at today, but there are, there's also Nora Plan that you can um, look at as well, and there's also um, a safety flooring as well, which you can look at. So this will just give you an, a good indication of product oh, yeah. and different products as well. So this one comes in tile format and you'll see on the front cover there that you've basically got it showing in an office environment. So that's a really, really key product if you wanted to put it over a raised access floor. So if someone's got raised access flooring panels, they need to be able to access the floor. Same as all the things that we do with carpet tile and LVT. So if they need to be able to access the floor for electronics or whatever reasons, but they do still need a durable surface on there, then we can offer that product to go on there. It's lovely. That's the Grano, I think, is yeah. it? This is the Arago, which is slightly more, more sort of 
design led so rather yeah. than sort of quite utilitarian like this one which you would expect to see in sort of a you know a, a, an airport so again this one is just trying to even though it's a really resilient product and it's a it's a product that you would probably specify or use more out of necessity than mm. wanting to have a certain look and feel it's it's more about the needs and what you the needs you need to meet within that space than it is about aesthetics yeah however obviously people do still want in certain spaces for it to not look too utilitarian so they still want a nice aesthetic going through so that's where this one really comes into its own because it's almost like a stone sort of finish you've got a lovely emboss on there you've got the look and feel of, of an LVT but obviously then you've still got all the benefits of it being that rubber flooring all the things yeah. that we talked about previously. Do officers go for this or do they, do they go for LVT? Um, it really depends uh, a lot of officers that I work on and have worked on have traditionally all been LVT because a lot of the time it might be a t-point area or it might just be a small area where you've not got a lot of footfall going through or you haven't got a lot of heavy rolling loads or things like that so in offices generally there might not be a need for them yeah. to have rubber something else that we're working on at the moment is we've got a lot of um companies particularly with covid um obviously there's a lot of um things going on in the background uh, with science and pharmaceutical companies where they're looking for vaccines and treatments and things like that um, so there were a lot of new places being built and a lot of new places being refurbished and they would always look to use a rubber flooring because obviously they're working with chemicals the product needs to be incredibly clean um, so it needs to not obviously hold on to any surface dust or any you know sort of microbials on there which again rubber does that as well you keep it incredibly incredibly clean how long does it last usually if you put it onto the floor this would be like 20 years or longer. I spoke to <laughs> I spoke to one of my colleagues last week who uh, is an aura person and they were telling me about an airport in Germany that this has been in and I think she said it's been in for about 30 years. <laughs> so I think it's really as long as obviously it's cleaned and any sort of surface sort of damage or anything like that is yeah. it's wiped away and it's it's well looked after. It really, really is very, very durable. Can it be recycled? It can be recycled, yeah. It's a natural product. Mm. So when it comes up, you can obviously recycle it and, you, and reuse it. Oh, you do colourful ones as well? Yeah, so yeah. I'll give you... I mean, these are all the Noramint ones, but if I, these are basically just a variation on a theme. So everything that you would need and everything that you would... Um, need in terms of the flooring being durable maintainable all of those things are all the same across all of the ranges you've got all the technical information that you would need in there as well so the difference that you've got with these is basically colors color finish and basically the emboss or the finish on the top so there you've got a slight fleck in it you've got more of a stone emboss almost like a concrete floor yeah. sort of finish whereas these are slightly brighter as well one sector that i didn't mention that we do use it a lot in as well is education mm. so if you've got science labs in schools um if you've got corridors where people uh, uh, pupils are moving around quite a lot so there's obviously a lot of foot traffic going through there um it's incredibly resilient for that as well so and these are obviously we've got brighter colors in some of the palettes as well for um school settings yeah are these expensive these products uh compared to carpet towel and lvt yeah. um well they're not compared to higher end carpet towel they're more expensive compared to lvt mm. but obviously they're a lot more um sort of like specific, heavy duty yeah. if you will yeah but this is quite a popular finish because this is it's got a little chip in it so you can see on those as well if you have something that's incredibly plain so obviously if you just had a very very plain color um particularly for labs and medical settings and things like that one of the things that we find is if something small gets dropped on the floor obviously if it's a really really plain surface 
You'll you, see it. you can see it. Yeah. So that's why we do one that's very, very plain. But equally, in schools and places like that, where things are maybe going to get little scuff marks on, or they might think, you know, things might get dropped on the floor, or they're worried about the colour of it being too too light, mm. then these little flecks in it just give it that little bit of lift so you're not always sort of thinking oh there's a tiny little mark on it over there or because it has got that fleck in it anyway so for indentations and things like that obviously there's the certain product that we would look at and certain product that we wouldn't look at so again it's very it's much more technical than what we're used to with carpet tile and lbt it's very specific for purpose yeah um and we would choose a product and recommend a product that is fit for that purpose going yeah. into that setting this is the grotto so this is the one that's slightly more select again and you've got obviously a nice colour choice in there as well oh, yeah. yeah so I assume schools go for the more colourful ones yeah and what we can do as well and I'll send you some examples across um, with the roll formats is that we can actually um, this is a really good product for doing inlays with so we can do laser cutting with it people can use different products to mix and match the colors and do logos and things like that so if you have sort of a, a reception space or an entryway where somebody wants to do that it's perfect for doing that way it really really lends itself well to that so we can do that as well but i think the key takeaway is just that it's it is a lot more specific and technical than maybe a carpet tile or LVT in terms yeah. of what people specifically need from yeah. that installation. So it's not just what looks good. It's it, yeah, it's yeah. it's less about aesthetics and more about what is right for that space yeah. in terms of what do they need how many people are they going to have going through it have they got stools sitting on it like you say have, yeah. are they using rolling heavy rolling loads so you know is there is the trolleys being dragged across it wheel kit um like wheelchairs, wheelchairs is there going to be wheelie cases through an airport you know all of those things will be consideration when you're looking at a flooring like this mm. so it's probably slightly different sectors and slightly different customer groups than you're used to deal, dealing with as yeah. well. All the info's on the website as well, isn't it, Interface? All the info's on the website. Um, if you go through to the Interface website, there's a really good sort of add-on that you can click through onto the Nora site as well, which is really good.